Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Prehistoric Isle in 1930 for the arcade. So, this was a game that I have played before on a live stream, and needless to say, it went awful. I mean, I did beat the game after, you know, credit feeding my way through it, but I felt like I took way more debts than I felt I should have. So, maybe this run will go better, or by some divine intervention, it will go worse. This did have a sequel on the Neo Geo, even though you don't start on an isle. During the 1930s, there were many shipwrecks near the Bahama Islands. Therefore, we must conduct an investigation near the island where the accidents have occurred. Those W's look very off. Alright, we're going to the forest first. Alright, hopefully I have time to turn the game up. Okay, there we go. No auto fire for you in this one. Oh, nice, got power. So now I have an orbital that will provide some defense, but what it'll also do is I can rotate it. Put it right in front of me, and I can actually uh, do better shots. Or put it at an angle so I can launch some bombs. It all takes some getting used to. It's a button that rotates it clockwise. I think on the on an actual arcade cabinet, you do have the ability to maybe rotate it. Believe it or not, it's already going way better. Giant mosquitoes. The bug, you go squish now. Oh, hello. Look at the defense I got now. I don't think something like this is going to be permanent, though. That would be way too busted. Also, I think if you collide with the eggs, you do take damage, so, uh... Don't do that, because damage equals death in this. Oh yeah, look how much more powerful my shots are now. Oh yeah, this is going swimmingly. The Brachiosaurus. Oh! Well, there I go. Yep, you die a single time, you go all the way down to the lowest of attack power you can possibly be. All it takes is one death. A single one. Don't you love games that do that? Because I sure as hell don't. And just like that, I already had to use a credit. On level 1. It was going so well until the boss happened. Alright, gotta start building up again. Oh, the waterfall actually pushes you down. This is not a very powerful biplane by any means. Oh, that was a bomb! Good thing I dumped it out. Okay, this is pretty much where I primarily like to have my pod. What the hell? That was cheap. 
just pops in right on top of you. What do you do against that? Unless you just memorize everything. And just like that, I died again. Ooh, just barely dodged it. Ooh, he was coming. Inquiry 2, going airborne. Well, I mean, I was airborne for most of the game anyway, so... Oh, what the hell? Jeez, now they're just like throwing in giant bats that are carrying humans. Yeah, that won't be an issue at all. Ramporankis. Man, when I was a kid, I like I loved just trying to find out as many different names of dinosaurs as possible. Oh wow, I actually protected myself with that pod. Okay, it's protecting me. I don't think it'll protect against the tornado. Also, my pod's gone. I didn't know it could just outright disappear like that. That's unfortunate. Look at the teeth on this thing. ABBA! <laughs> or you get one this time, ABBA. On the ground. Well, that's really the water, but okay, whatever you say, game. And it just drops, and I was like, oh no. I don't have a contingency plan for this. Oh, they're just being airdropped. Man, putting a lot of faith in that plan. One. Oh no, we're homeless now. Whoa! They just keep launching their heads. Ah! That had a good plan. Just couldn't stick to it. Oh yeah, just can't run top of the power up, why don't ya? Scum Lord. Alright, now things are getting off the rails. I don't even want to know how far they can extend their heads. Oh, so it's behind you. It just launches a, a time bomb. Oh god, when it does that, like, way too tight of a space. Unknown dinosaur, it's just a bunch of tumors and a tail. Oh, how do I dodge that one? Okay, I can only hit the head, not the tail at all. I mean, you can hit the tail, it just doesn't do anything. At least it goes in the, in the same rhythm whenever it fires. Breath. There we go. Oh, you thought you were done, huh? 
Oh, silly. That's bullshit. But just somehow I find a way to always go where the spawn point is. I hate when enemies do that in video games. Oh, oh no. Get off. I can't believe an egg can kill you. Well, then again, I have some friends that are allergic to eggs, so maybe they understand. <laughs> now listen here. I'll have you know that eggs cause me to flare up. I'm glad I don't have that problem with, like, foodborne allergies or anything. I guess I'm kind of lucky. Oh, none of these are power-ups. That is, though. There! I knew I was going to eventually die, because I usually do. So I had it waiting for me. That time I did not expect to die. Just good thing there was another one. Oh, come on! Goes that far? God, what the fuck? I can't dodge where I can't see, game. Hiding behind the wall. Good one. Ancient Coleoptera. That's the boss and I died anyway. So its attack is just to dump debris as hard as it can at me. Oh, I thought I broke that in time. I did not. Oh my god. Oh no, there's more of them. Oh, they keep splitting! Well, this is where I'm gonna chain death like crazy. Uh-oh. Okay, looks like it's only the, the bigger ones that shoot at you and the small ones just chase you. Oh, did I... did I time one of them out? I did. Bottom of the sea. Alright, I'm a submarine now. I have this technology to go from a biplane to a submarine. I just don't have the technology to survive contact with an egg. Or... Anything that's not a human. <laughs> okay, that was way too crowded. Damn it, Lord Helix! Call off your servants! Like, how the hell do you dodge something that's hiding through a wall, goes through the wall, and just hits me? And sometimes you don't even see it go in the wall in the first place. Got an Archelon. It's giving birth to the turtles. Lots of turtles. That growl they make. 
Oh wow, even if the screen is saturated with turtles, they still keep coming out. The screen has more turtles than Shredder's nightmares. See ya. That part I was able to solve. What? Okay. I did not pay attention to what got me there. I think it was another one of those purple blobs. Oh. Was I ready for that? This is absolutely ridiculous. There's that SNK magic right there, making your quarters disappear. Sometimes to obscene degrees. Oh, well, my pod's gone. You gotta love it, except I don't. Now I'm gone too. What the hell? And I just flew into that like a dumbass. Oh, it changes direction. Spot game. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm a knight. Uh, Darius is over that way. I think you're in the wrong franchise. This one only has two games. Wow. Hope you don't let. Hope you don't hate mouth sounds. Anybody with Misophonia is going to hate fighting this boss, I promise you that. Especially since its tentacles move way too quick. Wait, does that telegraph where you're gonna go? I think it does. It even changes its direction if you change direction. There's no way to get out. There's no way. So unless you're packing lots of speed upgrades, that's a guaranteed death. Oh, going behind it is not a strategy. I think I was able to, uh, stop it from grabbing me. Maybe I just shoot at it. Or just be at the right place, right time. A rarity in this game, for sure. We're going underground now. Ah, right, that's where all my quarters went! They went to hell! They ain't coming back now. Oh, just got off screen. They got quite a vertical leap, those cavemen do. Honestly, I can't even be mad about that. Oh my god. 
Ooh. Why is the flame breath bigger than their body? A stegosaurus. Ah, oh, I was just outside of that. Oh, me dodging things? Hell no. I mean, at least I can shoot those rocks that the Stegosaurus launches. I think it's a scales, actually. Could have done a much better job of dodging that. Couldn't have done a better job of dodging that, because that was bullshit regardless. Yep, just go right where it spawns. I keep seeing you way too many times. Oh, now there's three of them. I don't think I've ever been able to kill a single one. Because it times out way too fast. Oh, and I get took out by an egg of all things. with you, but if I, like, uh, dumped eggs in a pit of magma, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna hatch just fine. But what do I know? I don't give birth to pterodactyls! Just assault. Wait, I don't think you can shoot those flames, can you? You can only use the pod, and that's it. Alright, make sure it's below me then. The Tyrannosaur. I'm coming for ya. Weird, like moving animes, like hoppity 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 hoppity. Well, I mean, I, I tried. I had a good rhythm until I got there. Okay, that's not working. Oh, it's too slow. Got an obscene amount of health, don't you, T Rex, huh? I'm just gonna keep it right in front. Might as well just focus on uh, DPS at this point. Okay, that was my fault. I should have known better. Is it just me or, or is this boss easier than all half the other bosses in the whole game? The only thing it's really known for is just to take a crap ton of hits. 
And that's all. I put myself in position to get that egg, and, and I didn't get it anyway. Unbelievable. I'm not getting that one either. I was about to get that, but okay. Yep, leaves why no guts at all. Epilogue. You've escaped from the island of the prehistoric creatures. I mean, you could have just flown to the ocean and kept going. The accidents around this island were caused by them. We must report the findings of the investigation to our country. And then they die! The Triangle Area. Known for its many mysterious accidents, remains unsafe for air and sea passage. Known for it is many mysterious accidents. <laughs> yep, and then they did a sequel, like, a long while later. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. That's Prehistoric Isle for the Arcade. It's a shmup that will really test you, for sure. In either skill and patience. But anyway, at least we got it done. Will I check out Prehistoric All 2? Eh, maybe in the future. I never played that one before. I just know that one uses pre-rendered graphics. So, there you go. Well, this is the Bong is signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.